Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by all of these body mists behind me, I'm gonna do the body mist that I love so much that I have backups of. This whole lineup that you see here goes even back there. Like there's like two rows. I have... <laughs> I have a lot. Some of these have one backup, some of these have two backups. Let's just say it's a lot easier to stock up on body mist than it is perfumes, which speaking of, I actually did the perfume version of this video. So if you missed my perfumes I love so much that I have backups of video, definitely check that out. I'll have it linked up here. But today we are focusing on all my body mist from pretty much everywhere. Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret, even Sol de Janeiro. It's a lot easier to do this with body mist is because when you catch them on sale days they're like three to five dollars so it's super super easy to just stock up i try not to and i've actually stopped doing this just because i've been trying to downsize my collection and in doing so obviously i can't bring in a bunch of the same scents but these are just the ones that i've had in my collection since i started my collection but it's been a while i try to not do this unless i super super fall in love with the scent which speaking of the brand new sweethearts chair fragrance. I showed that in my most recent Bath and Body Works haul and I asked you guys in that video if you knew when the next sale day would be so that I could stock up on that scent and I know that there was a sale I think last weekend because a lot of you were telling me in the comments which I appreciate so so much. That is why I love this community because we help each other out but I was unable to go to that sale so unfortunately I missed it and I think it was like two days. I think it was Saturday and Sunday and I freaking missed it so I'm just gonna wait for another one. That's when I need a back above because I have not fallen in love with a Bath and Body Works scent in so so long like I have with that one so that would also be here I just missed that sale so let's just say it's an honorable mention in this video but anyways before we get into it please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started like I said some of these have three backups. This is Bare Vanilla. Something annoying about me is, well, especially in the way that I store these body mists, they're in these little cubicle drawers that I have, so they're stored like this. So when I open them, all I see is the top, which is why I've labeled I used to do this when I got really into my body mist. I literally like labeled them because the way that I would open them, I couldn't see what was what. So it was really hard for me to pick out which scent I wanted to wear that day. So I was like, let me label them. And a lot of these are labeled, but then you'll see a lot of the new ones aren't labeled just because I haven't done this in a long time. But something that's super annoying is that I start to use one and then I forget which one I used and then I start with the other ones. So technically these are all used as you can see. Just Annoying like that I need to just focus on one but I forget which one I use anyways bare vanilla definitely had to have a backup of this this is an OG this is in their core line so you could pretty much always get this no matter how many collections come out this scent is unbelievable and this will forever and ever and ever be in my collection because it's one of the best vanillas this is how you do vanilla the vanilla in here is very much here you can definitely smell it but it's not too juvenile it has this sexiness about it because it has soft cashmere that kind of goes with the whipped vanilla creaminess that this has so it's not total gourmand vanilla it's just sweet sexy somewhat woody and it even even has a bit of this slight little smokiness about it. This truly to me is like an aphrodisiac type of scent because every time I wear this, my husband goes crazy. My husband is more so into fresh perfumes, but when I have this on, it's game over. And then another classic OGs. This has been out for a decade, over a decade. This has been out forever. I remember how much I was obsessed with this scent back in like the Mac Barbie 07 days, like the OG YouTube days where I feel like all beauty gurus were raving about warm and cozy. I love this scent to this day. I use this scent. It is perfectly the name warm and cozy. I wear this a lot for bedtime, cozying up, watching a movie. If I'm just staying in and I want to be cozy, if it's like a rainy day, that's when I love this scent the most. And I, of course, have a backup of it. As you can see, I am almost halfway done with warm and cozy. And then we have Cherosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro. This is the OG 
Cherosa 62. It looked like this. It said Brazilian Crush on it. And then they, I guess, revamped the packaging. And now it just says Cherosa 62. But you already know, this is one of the sexiest body mists. This is a body mist that lasts like a perfume. I actually also have the perfume of this scent because I'm just so obsessed with this scent. I think it's one of the best scents ever 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 i have so many different products with this scent i have obviously the boom boom cream i have the oil of it i have a deodorant of it i have so many things but that's just because i'm absolutely obsessed and i went and got this big bottle because this one was almost done so i was like i i need this this next scent i literally have well i have three but then this one is like a shimmer mist version of it which is essentially the same thing just with shimmer but that is velvet petals velvet petals will forever be one of my og one of my most favorite victoria's secret and honestly not even just victoria's secret but just body mist in general and i'm so happy to have found a somewhat perfume version of this scent which is scarlet poppy by jo malone if you're really into this and you've been looking for a perfume version of it scarlet poppy comes very very close to this scent i honestly don't know how to explain this scent it's super girly very pink it's sweet it's a little bit fresh this has lush blooms almond glaze i'm not really sure how to go about explaining that trust me you need velvet petals this is another one that i've started using both like this one is about here and then this one is about there so i definitely messed up and i think i've even oh yeah i've even used this one so technically between all three of these i've probably used up an entire one i love this scent i actually just wore it last night and i was in love with it because i hadn't worn it in a little bit but it was so good next up i have three of these this is vanilla confetti sparkle by bath and body works this scent i needed all three of because i learned that this was a repackage for confetti cake pop that everybody was obsessed with that came out right before i got super super into bath and body works and by the time i got into it i was searching up and down for that scent but bath and body works took that scent out and then because it was so sought after people on mercari were upcharging like crazy for it people were selling it for like 200 dollars. i'm like i really want this scent but i'm not willing to pay 200 dollars. they finally came out with a repackage of it with i'm pretty sure the same notes so this has creamy cake frosting rainbow sprinkles and vanilla bean this is straight up cake batter creamy cake frosting it reminds me a lot honestly of cherosa 71 by soul de Janeiro, which is another one that's very cakey super super edible will make your mouth water type scent this kind of scent for me is more so inside wear kind of a scent i like to wear more perfumey scents for going out if that makes sense but this is so cozy and so delicious straight up it's delicious. It smells like cake batter, cupcakes, cookies, frosting. I'm pretty sure I picked that up on a sale, so I got like all three of these for like 15 bucks or something. This is such a good scent from Victoria's Secret. This came out in this line that they came out. It was like almost like these perfumey type body mists. This one specifically, the Rouge Elixir, was my absolute favorite, so I grabbed two. This one has notes of red currant, almond creme. This set is very long lasting. I feel like it actually performs kind of like a perfume. It has this vibrant berry sort of vibe to it, but then it has almost sort of like a, I don't want to say patchouli, but something about it, like this maybe woodiness and i'm just getting that delicious red currant scent right now those berries in here are so juicy and vibrant they are so delicious so this scent was one i definitely needed backups of. and then of course an og from bath and body works is forever red this is such a good one this is like a boozy vanilla it smells like the color red it is that kind of scent like you're wearing a red dress or maybe like a red lip or something. It's so powerful. It's very bold. Exactly what you think of when you think of the color red. This has notes of fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood. And it is all those notes combined. It is so good. The vanilla in it is so good. But because of that rum sort of take, the booziness of it gives it that much more of a sexy feel. And then of course the pomegranate 
I love pomegranate notes. I always say that. I'm sure a lot of you already know what this smells like. It's been out for a long time and then they discontinued it, but they do bring it back every so often. And then another one that's been discontinued. This scent at first, I was like, why does anybody like this scent? This is Raspberry Jam Donut. This scent confused me so much at first because I'm like, why would anybody want to smell like a donut? Like I love to eat donuts every once in a while, but I don't want to smell like a donut. And then I started wearing this and I fell so in love with this scent. I don't think a scent has ever been made this perfectly to what it's called because this quite literally smells like the inside of a raspberry jam donut. It's like that doughy donut type of scent perfectly mixed with raspberry jam. I don't know how they did it. This literally, if when you smell this, it's quite honestly like you're smelling a batch of raspberry jam donuts like you're even smelling the warmth of the donuts that's how realistic it is this has notes of wild raspberry jam powdered sugar and warm fluffy donut and it is exactly those notes to a tea and i had to have backups of this much like this vanilla confetti sparkle scent this one for me is more so uh wear inside kind of a scent because it's just more cozy makes me feel warm and delicious i wouldn't necessarily wear it out but i love these type of scents because i'm home most of the time pink velvet cupcake this is one of my OG, I feel like body mist that got me into Bath and Body Works. This scent, I don't know who had said this, but I saw on YouTube, this was way before I bought my Love Don't Be Shy by Kayali, but I saw somebody on YouTube that said that this body mist was like the dupe version of Love Don't Be Shy, and I remember how much I had been wanting that scent, and at that time, it was out of stock everywhere because it was kind of when it first came out that Rihanna wore Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, so it was sold out. It was so hard to get your hands on. So when I saw that someone had said pink velvet cupcake was a dupe to it i ran to my bath and body works because i'm pretty sure it was when they had just put this scent out and you could say this scent got me into bath and body works because i fell in love although i will say now having smelled this having killian's love don't be shy they are not dupes in the slightest they're sweet fragrances but that's about all they have in common they do both have marshmallow notes and yeah they're just sweet fragrances they don't smell anything like one another but i am absolutely in love with pink velvet cupcake the name of this is kind of misleading because it doesn't smell like a cupcake at all this one is not cakey foodie gourmand really at all it's more just really really sweet in a perfumey kind of way and even a little touch of freshness but there's nothing gourmand cakey cupcakey about this this has notes of sparkling red berries whipped pink marshmallow and sugared praline it's definitely more true to the notes than it is the name because you can definitely smell that whipped pink marshmallow it has that marshmallow powder marshmallow fluff kind of scent to it mixed with the freshness the juiciness and the sweetness of those red berries and then just the sugar praline gives it another level of sweetness a really girly and fun pink kind of scent but definitely not gourmand. Then I have Summer Melody. This one is a perfect summer type of scent. This smells like exactly the notes. This only has golden honeydew and bronzed vanilla in the notes, and it smells exactly like that because it smells like that sweetness of a fresh honeydew melon. And then the bronzed vanilla, there's something about the sweetness and the vanilla in here that gives this almost a coconut feel like i almost smell coconut in here because it has a little touch of sunscreen ness about it it's not a sunscreen scent but it has a little touch and i think that's why they called this bronzed vanilla because it smells more like summery but it's so good so mouth-watering and it literally smells like a warm bright sunny summer day another huge huge favorite of mine is kaleidoscope by bath and body works i got this before i bought my glossy au because people were saying that this was a dupe and this is actually a dupe this is probably the most spot on dupe ever like if you don't own glossy au and you've been wanting it but you don't want to spend the money kaleidoscope by bath and body works straight up literally 100 percent similar I have no idea how to describe this and this is one of the packagings that doesn't have the notes in it unfortunately so i can't even tell you the notes i'm gonna try to actually look them up because i'm actually curious what they are this has iris pink pepper and cedar in the notes which makes total sense because i'm pretty sure glossier U also has 
those kind of similar notes. I know it has iris. I'm pretty sure it has pink pepper. And then I know it has some type of woodsiness about it. So even the notes are so similar to Glossier U. A lot of the times when I wear my Glossier U, I layer it up with Kaleidoscope and it just kind of intensifies the scent. You can always find discontinued scents like this on Mercari. So if you really want to, check Mercari you'll find a million listings of Kaleidoscope. Then I have Strawberry Pound Cake. So this was kind of in the same collection as Raspberry Jam Donut because they're like these gourmandy, cakey type of scents. Now what I said about Raspberry Jam Donut where that one is more of a inside wear type fragrance for me, Strawberry Pound Cake, I actually love at all times, all occasions. I mean, maybe not all occasions, but I would wear this running errands because it's such a good scent and it is cakey, but not to the extent of Raspberry Jam Donut where you literally smell like a Raspberry Jam Donut. There's something more wearable, I feel like, about this to me. This has notes of fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This smells like strawberries and cream. It smells like those little strawberry... Uh, candies I'll put up a picture right here is exactly those it smells like strawberries dunked in milk like a strawberry shortcake into the night this is where we get into more of the perfumey kind of scents so the night is kind of in the same scent profile as black opium so it's very perfumey it's that sexy sweet praline floral kind of scent with a little touch of a coffee sort of vibe much like black opium this one has notes of raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk it even has more perfumey kind of notes it's an og of bath and body works it's in their core line and you can pretty much always get this Rightfully so, it's really good. One of the best ever releases is Wrapped in Vanilla. It is quite literally exactly that name. Bath & Body Works just does their titles so perfectly because they smell exactly like that. This perfume will make you smell like you are wrapped in vanilla. It is one of the warmest scents. Like you literally feel the warmth when you smell the scents. It makes you feel warm and cozy. This has notes of soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. This gives me a very strong fall and winter vibe because it's so cozy and warm. I don't really see myself using this that much in the summertime, but like on a rainy day, this is like a go-to scent of mine. If I want to smell warm and cozy and like I'm wrapped in vanilla, that is this scent. It's super gourmand. If you are into vanillas, you would absolutely love wrapped in vanilla. Of course, one of my all-time favorites, I have to have a backup of Be Enchanted. I honestly wish I would have grabbed so many more than just these two because this is one of my all-time top, top, top favorite Bath & Body Works scents. Be Enchanted is this rich pomegranate-y sweet kind of scent. It's so berry-like. If you're into berries, you would absolutely love Be Enchanted. This has notes of iced pomegranate, sugared petals, chilled passion fruit, whipped vanilla, and light musk. It's very sweet. It's a little bit musky, but very berry-like more than anything. I've used up a good amount of this one and I'm kind of starting on this. I pair this scent up so much with perfumes that I have that have pomegranate notes in them because they just go so well together. Champagne Sprinkles. This came out in a SAS a year or two ago. This is another one where the name is exactly like what it smells. This smells like this picture right here. It smells like champagne and you just dunked a full bottle of sprinkles, like sweet, sugary sprinkles in the champagne. And the champagne has just soaked up all that sweetness. And so then it's like confused with sprinkles. It's so fun. It's so girly, flirty, vibrant, so sweet, but it has a bit of this effervescent quality because of that champagne. This has sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. And it is just that. Another classic from Bath & Body Works is A Thousand Wishes. It has notes of pink Prosecco, sparkling queens, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. It's definitely sweet for the most part, but it has a perfume-like vibe about it. It also has an effervescent quality because it has that pink Prosecco, so it has a very vibrant, juicy, champagne-y, bubbly kind of feel. But then the Sparkling Queens just gives it that juicy fruitiness. It has a touch of amber. The Amaretto Cream just rounds it out. It's such a beautiful scent. This is also one that's very highly complimented. I have these two. They're like the same, but I don't know why they changed the color from red to pink. So 
yeah, I don't know. Fresh Coconut and Cotton is one of Bath & Body Works' most long-lasting perfume level performance kind of fragrance. This scent is so strong and you really don't need much. I know with body sprays, it's typical that you have to overspray in order to get them to stick. Truly, with this scent, you could spray this exactly how you would spray a perfume and it will perform just like a perfume. This has coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. This smells like the beach to me. It definitely does have this coconut slash sunscreen type of scent, but it also smells like the beach. If you guys have smelled Beachfront Blanket by Bath & Body Works, it's kind of like that, but the coconut is way more intensified. It definitely has a high level of coconut, but to me, even though it is coconut, I would wear this all year round. There's something about this that makes it very wearable, even though it's a coconut scent, and usually you would associate coconut with summer. There's like this perfuminess about it, I don't know, where it makes it very versatile for me. I could wear this running errands, going out, whatever, and I just smell amazing, and I'm gonna smell amazing all day. Next, I have You're the One, which is literally like a Dior perfume in a body mist. This is probably one of Bath & Body Works' most perfume-like scents that they've ever put out. This has notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. It is so strong. Literally, those two sprays could get me through the entire day. I'm gonna smell them all day. This is one I've gotten probably the most compliments than any other body mist that I have in my collection, no matter what brand. This garners compliments like nobody else. And when you tell people that it's a body spray after they ask you what perfume you have on, you will literally have to pick their jaws from the floor because every time I tell people that it's a body spray that I'm wearing whenever I wear this scent, they're shocked. This is definitely, if you wanna smell expensive on a budget, you're the one is definitely the one. Then Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. For some reason, my husband is so in love with this scent and I've noticed that he really loves guava perfumes. Every time I have a perfume that has guava in it, he always compliments it and he's like obsessed. And this one, he always compliments me. There was a while there where I would wear this to bed a lot. I don't know. It's like totally like a vacation, summertime scent and I wear it to bed. Like, I don't know. I wear anything to bed. The guava in it, is the most delicious. It smells like guava candy. It has sweetness. It has a bit of freshness. It has a tropical sort of vibe. This is a vacation tropical-like scent without any level of sunscreen for those of you that don't like the sort of sunscreen feel. And it's one I have doubles of because I'm obsessed. All right, we're getting down to the last few scents. Of course, Snowflakes and Cashmere. This scent is actually very similar to Velvet Petals. So I absolutely love it. But this is such an expensive smelling body mist. It's so complex. It's so good. This has notes of vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. I don't really get the frosted clementine in here. I don't get citrus at all, but oh, it is one of the best. Truly one of the best. It's a wintertime scent. It's called Snowflakes and Cashmere. It comes out whenever their like core winter scents come out, like Vanilla Bean Noel, Twisted Peppermint, and all of that. But this is not just a wintertime scent. This you could wear all year round. You could literally wear this on a date night. And you'll have people fall in love. It's that good. And then I have In the Stars. This is another one that's very, very perfume-like. Falls in the same category as like You Are the One. Perfuminess level, not like scent-wise. But in the stars, I know people compare this to Baccarat Rouge a lot and I kind of get the vibe, but this is way more woody and somehow even more complex than Baccarat Rouge. This has notes of star flowers, sandalwood musk, sugared tangelo, white agar wood, and radiant amber. As you can see, it has very perfumey notes and this is one of the sexiest Bath & Body Works smells ever. Oh, I can't get enough of this. This is another one. If people ask you what you're wearing when you have this on, they're going to be shocked that it's not a $300 niche perfume and it's just a little body spray. The last scent that I have backups of is Black Raspberry Vanilla. I love berry scents as you've gathered in this entire video. This smells like this uh, raspberry berry kind of candy by Haribo exactly like those. It just smells like a blackberry candy. This has notes of fresh raspberry, vine ripened blackberries, vanilla orchid, and creamy sandalwood. It is just the most vibrant, realistic berry-like scent. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if they've reformulated this because this black raspberry vanilla that came in this packaging is way more sweet to me. And then this one, 
dries down pretty sweet and it dries down pretty similar to this but there's more of a greenness about this like it has the leaves here and even in the notes where you have that vine ripened blackberries it just has more of a viney green kind of scent to it with that vibrant berry so they're very similar but i, I honestly feel like they're kind of different at the same time i still love them but it's just something I need to point out. All right, that is it for this video. It was a long one. I have a lot of doubles, what can I say? But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your backups when it comes to body mist. Which scents do you always have to have on hand? That is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.